I show speed has quickly shot up to be one of the most popular streamers on YouTube. Over the past few years, his meteoric rise to internet fame has caught lots of attention. So we decided to dive in and see just what this guy is all about. This is 107 facts about I show speed. Number one, I show speed's real name is Darren Watkins Jr. Number two, he was born on January 21st, sometime in the early to mid 2000s. Number three, it's largely believed that he was born in 2005, but it's hard to say for certain. He's changed his story up over the past few years. For example, in 2021, I Show Speed released two songs where he mentioned that he's 16. Number four. However, in a stream that very same year, he said that he was 19. Number five. Age aside, it is known that he was born and raised in Cincinnati, Ohio. Number six. While he's only popped off within the last two years or so, I Show Speed has been making content since he was a kid. He first joined YouTube when he created his main channel in 2016. Number seven. At the beginning, I Show Speed would upload gameplay videos, but only occasionally. Number 8. After a little while, he started live streaming gameplay around December 2017. Number 9. Early on, two of his go-to streaming games were NBA 2K and Fortnite, of course. Number 10. Along the way, I Show Speed would also sometimes stream Roblox and FIFA. Number 11. At the time, I Show Speed streams were reaching an average viewer count of two people. Number 12. It was slow going for the next few years. By 2010, I Show Speed's average audience only grew to an average of 10 viewers at any given time. Number 13. Sure enough, I Show Speed's numbers started popping off about a year later. In April 2021, his YouTube subscriber count hit the 100,000 milestone. Number 14. From there, his sub count numbers snowballed rapidly jumping up and reaching 1 million in June of 2021, just a few months later. Number 15. And then, just over a year later, I Show Speed's YouTube channel hit a whopping 10 million subscribers in July 2022. Number 16. Even without the massive 10 million, I Show Speed was already topping the charts. He was the most watched streamer on YouTube Live in June 2022. Number 17. That same year, I Show Speed was named Breakout Streamer of the Year at the 12th Streamy Awards. Number 18. At the same award show, he was also nominated for Streamer of the Year. However, he didn't win that title. Number 19. Ironically, a key player in iShow Speed's rapid growth on YouTube was a different platform, TikTok. Clips of his streams went viral on TikTok in 2021, pulling in a greater audience to his YouTube channel. Number 20. While iShow Speed would regularly stream video games, he also owes much of his success to his streams of the Talking Ben app. Number 21. The Talking Ben app had been released 10 years earlier, but after the popularity of I Show Speed streams, the app's downloads surged. Number 22. After I Show Speed had spent years streaming games and apps, his newfound popularity helped him transition to become a variety streamer. Number 23. One aspect of I Show Speed's online persona that pulled in so many eyes was the controversy. In one particular incident from December 2021, I Show Speed appeared on a Twitch stream hosted by a streamer called Aiden Ross. Number 24. Four. Ross was streaming a kind of game show with e-dating as the premise. I Show Speed appeared as a guest alongside another guest, Ash Cash. As a part of the game, the two were on a mock date. Number 25. At a certain point, the conversation escalated to an uncomfortable level. I Show Speed posed a hypothetical question to Ash Cash. If the two of them were the last people on Earth, would she reproduce with him, as he put it? Number 26. I, incidentally, this is a question that he had also asked talking Ben in his own streams. Number 27. When Ash Cash didn't give him the answer he was looking for, I Show Speed quickly replied with, who gonna stop me? Over the next few moments, he would continue to allude to this, at one point even screaming, you are not stopping me. Number 28. Finally, Ross stepped in, muting I Show Speed, telling him to chill out and kicking him from the Discord call, eliminating him from the game, and making I Show Speed the second contestant to be eliminated from that stream. Number 29. However, just moments after he was kicked, I Show Speed rejoined the Discord call, continuing to harass Ash Cash, screaming a barrage of slurs and saying some other not so nice things. Number 30. This tirade went on for another 45 seconds or so before Ross kicked him out of the call again, insisting that he didn't know how I Show Speed got back into the call and apologizing to Ash. Number 31. As a result of this incident, I Show Speed was banned from Twitch on the basis of sexual coercion or intimidation. Number 32. We know the exact verbiage and reasoning because I Show Speed himself tweeted out the official ban message he received from Twitch. 
Number 33. A few months later, iShow Speed was the subject of more controversy, once again. In April 2022, a clip from one of his previous Valorant streams had surfaced. Number 34. In the clip, iShow Speed is the final surviving member of his team during a match. When he ends up losing, he starts complaining. One of his teammates jumps in, saying that he's got to hit those shots, man. Standard Valorant toxicity. For this, iShow Speed starts to lose it on this player a little bit. Number 35. Another player in the game, who appears to be a girl, weighs in to defend the player against iShow Speed's tirade, telling iShow Speed that he sucks ass. Again, standard Valorant toxicity. From there, iShow Speed directs his tirade towards her in a similar way to how he reacted to Ash Cash on Aiden Ross's stream. Number 36. Among all the screaming, he yells some more unsavory things, which you can read on the screen right now, continuing that classic Valorant toxicity. Number 37. Kidding aside, that kind of behavior shouldn't fly. The clip went viral and even caught the attention of Riot Games, the developer of Valorant. Number 38. In particular, the clip eventually crossed the desk of one Sarah Dadafshar, a producer on Valorant over at Riot Games. Number 39. In response to iShow Speed's sexist outburst, Dadafshar permanently banned him from Valorant. Number 40. However, Valorant was just the beginning. Dadafshar even permanently banned him from all of Riot's games, including League of Legends. Number 41. When she announced the ban, Dadafshar commented that iShow Speed's behavior was a huge yikes, and that Riot does not want players like this in their community at all. Number 42. iShow Speed's outburst also caught the attention of Lester Chen, YouTube's global head of gaming creators. Number 43. All Chen had to say was that he was on it. There's no telling what he actually did, if anything. Number 44. Within a half hour of him being banned from all Riot games, iShow Speed posted an apology video, apologizing to the girl he yelled at. Number 45. He tweeted the apology, directly tagging Lester Chen and the Twitter user who publicized the clip, Jake Lucky. Number 46. In the video, iShow Speed provided additional context for the clip. He discusses how he had had a bad day when the clip was recorded, and that he had received racist text-to-speech donation messages and others that mocked his dead aunt. Number 47. He had received racist comments from his teammates moments earlier. This is Valorant, remember? Among other things, they said that black characters can't heal, and when iShow Speed started screaming again, one teammate said that he was casting black magic. Number 48. iShow Speed also clarified that the clip in question was from months ago, and that he had changed and learned from the incident, insisting that because he's young, he's prone to making mistakes, but learns quickly. Number 49. When this particular incident went viral, there's another less popular clip of iShow Speed that took place between the original and his permaban. In this clip, iShow Speed is screaming on mic in a different game of Valorant. When a girl on his team tells him to stop, he goes off. Number 50. In this instance, he screams again, with some more things that I'm not gonna say out loud. Number 51. Months later, iShow Speed decided to have a special stream on the 4th of July to celebrate the 4th of July. Number 52. As a part of the celebration, iShow Speed set off a Pikachu firework in his bedroom, live on stream. Number 53. After lighting the firework, iShow Speed quickly realized how powerful it actually was when it started spewing sparks everywhere. iShow Speed then jumped up, screaming, and ran out of the room yelling for his mom while a fire alarm goes off in the background. Number 54. The fire department eventually shows up and can be seen entering the room as the stream continues. Number 55. In a follow-up stream, iShow Speed assured his viewers that nobody was hurt as a result of the firework, not him or his mom. Number 56. While he also said that despite the chaos caused by the firework, the damage to his room was minor. While there were some noticeable scuffs on the floor and ceiling, there wasn't any structural damage. Number 50. As for why he made such a dangerous move, iShow Speed admitted that he didn't realize how big the firework was before lighting it, adding that he should have read the box and that the box should have had a bigger label. Number 58. Later, in July of 2022, iShow Speed found himself in trouble on YouTube. Sure, nothing exploded and nothing was set on fire, but he did receive a community guideline strike on his channel. Number 59. In addition to the strike, he also received a one-week ban from the platform. Number 60. YouTube came down on him due to an incident during one of his streams. He was playing Minecraft and using a mod called Jenny's Mod. Number 61. As 
as a part of the mod, I show Speed's Minecraft character got a explicit sexual act from a different in-game character. Presumably Jenny, number 62. Initially, I show Speed censored the screen before things became too racy, saying, I don't want to show this to young children, so I'm about to hide my screen. Number 63. I show Speed proceeded to scream, breathe heavily, and of course, bark, seemingly getting into character, role-playing, receiving the act. Number 64. However, while he said he would censor it, I show Speed flickered back and forth between the gameplay and his censor screen, until he finally showed the uncensored Minecraft act on stream. That's a YouTube no-no. Number 65. At the time, he was streaming live to an audience of more than 90,000 people. Number 66. Unable to use his main channel for one week, I show Speed responded to the temporary ban on his second channel, insisting that the uncensored footage was an accident. Number 67. He also expressed how sad it was that he was gone before he could hit 10 million subscribers on his main channel. Number 68. The Minecraft clip was shared by Jake Lucky, the same person who shared the previous Valorant clip that got I show Speed banned from Riot's games. Number 69. This time, I show Speed reached out to Lucky, saying, bro, what is your problem like seriously? Insinuating that Lucky is out to get him. Number 70. Despite the ban, I show Speed reached 10 million subscribers on his main channel, an accolade he celebrated on his secondary channel as the ban was still in effect at the time. Number 71. While the ban came and went, on August 8th, 2022, I show Speed got swatted. During his stream, someone called the police, saying he was a threat. The Cincinnati police arrived at his house. Number 72. I show Speed was filmed by his cameraman surrounding the cops in handcuffs. Police then forced the cameraman to stop filming and end the stream. Number 73. Following the swatting, there was no word from I show Speed until his next stream, three days later on August 11th. Number 74. I show Speed explained that after the police arrived, he was actually arrested and put in jail. Number 75. As for how he got out so quickly, he said that he was bailed out by his streamer friend and e-dating host, Aiden Ross, the person he called with his one phone call. I show Speed said that Ross wired the money to the police, allowing him to go free. Number 76. According to I show Speed, his bail was set at $20,000. Number 77. At the end of August, during another one of his streams, I show Speed logged into his account at Ohio Digital Learning School, showing that he had Fs in every class. Number 78. From there, he needed to take a quiz as part of one of his classes. Chapter 1 for United States and Global Economics. Well, since he was already streaming, he figured he'd just take the quiz live on stream. Number 79. Even better, he asked chat to help him with his answers, leaving the 10 questions up to them over the allotted 15 minutes. Number 80. And so, his chat swiftly seized the opportunity to troll him, deliberately giving wrong answers. Number 81. Going exclusively off the chat's suggestions, I show speed ended up getting none of the 10 questions correct. Number 82. A month later, in September, I show speed was selected to play in the Sidemen charity football match. Number 83. After I show speed appeared to score a goal, referee Mark Clattenburg called him offside, making the goal invalid. Number 84. In response, I show speed shouted at the referee, cursing at him, and went on to whip him with his shirt that he'd removed during his goal celebration. Sure enough, the ref gave him a yellow card for that one. Number 85. Aside from the Sidemen charity football match, I show speed had made a number of appearances on Sky Sports' football-related coverage, including a spot alongside sports reporter Jeff Shreves. Number 86. While this clip of I show speed and Shreves still exists floating around the internet, you won't find it on Sky Sports' official channels. In fact, Sky Sports removed any and all content, including I show speed. Number 87. Why? Well, the video of I show speed losing his shit in Valorant made the rounds once again. Sky Sports execs caught wind and erased I show speeds' existence from their content, at the same time barring him from future collaborations and appearances on Sky Sports. Number 88. This must have been a tough pill to swallow because yes, I show speed is a hardcore football or soccer fan. He's been playing FIFA for years and it is his favorite sport. Number 89. And his favorite player of his favorite sport is Cristiano Ronaldo, formerly of Manchester United. Number 90. I show speed loves him and soccer so much that he actually wrote songs about them. World Cup, about the 2022 FIFA World Cup, and Ronaldo, brackets Sui, about Ronaldo. Number 91. Oh, and while we're on the subject, the first song that I show speed ever released came out in 2021, titled Duty Booty. Number 92. I show speed is such a big fan of Ronaldo that throughout November and December, December 2022, he traveled the stadiums in England just to watch Ronaldo play. He visited 
include Old Trafford, Manchester's home stadium, and Craven Cottage in West London. Number 93. iShow Speed even flew all the way out to Qatar to watch Ronaldo play in the World Cup. However, for the Qatar games, Ronaldo didn't play and was on the bench. Unsurprisingly, iShow Speed was disappointed. Number 94. iShow Speed still made the most out of his World Cup visit, though. A clip surfaced of his encounter with an Asian spectator wearing an Argentina jersey. iShow Speed called him over to ask him about the jersey. Number 95. The spectator didn't seem to understand him, so I show speed asked the question again, adding konnichiwa, a Japanese greeting. Number 96. This is hardly out of character for I show speed. You can find another clip of him in a park when he sees an Asian performer wearing a Manchester United jersey, just as he was at the same time. I show speed asks him where he's from, and the guy says Thailand, to which I show speed also responds, konnichiwa. Number 97. However, in this case at the World Cup, after the spectator, then told I Show Speed that he's Chinese, I Show Speed continued to shout Konnichiwa. Number 98. Finally, the spectator again said Chinese, no Konnichiwa. To which I Show Speed responded with noises seeming to imitate what he believed Chinese to sound like. Number 99. As usual, this clip made the rounds with people accusing I Show Speed of being racist. And sure enough, I Show Speed soon responded with an apology video. Number 100. In the apology, he explained how he was, in fact, not racist. He elaborated that he thought the man was Japanese, so he said konnichiwa because he watches a lot of anime. Number 101. I Show Speed also took a moment to address the noises he made at the end of the clip. According to him, it was an attempt to pronounce a nickname that his Chinese fans supposedly call him. Number 102. Outside of football, I Show Speed had a promotional stream in 2022, promoting something called the Paradox Metaverse, a game where players earn Paradox coins, a cryptocurrency by completing missions in the game, if they buy the company's NFTs. Number 103. Right there, live in chat, iShowSpeed's fans quickly called out what they believed to be a scam, and accused iShowSpeed of trying to scam them by promoting the pump and dump scheme behind Paradox Coin. Number 104. As a part of the same stream, iShowSpeed brought on a Cristiano Ronaldo look-alike, but tried to play it off like it was really him, until he finally admitted that it was just a prank. Number 105. More recently, iShowSpeed hopped onto a video call with Drake, at first, he gushed about how he's a fan and asked him about his preferred soccer superstar, Ronaldo or Messi. For the record, Drake went with Ronaldo. Number 106. Things were going well at first, but the call took a strange turn when I Show Speed said that Drake's voice was so sexy. After that, Drake swiftly hung up. I Show Speed then clarified that his words came out wrong and that he meant to compliment Drake on how smooth his voice was. By then, though, the damage was done. Number 107. In February, streamer Kai Sanat reacted to I Show Speed's Drake mishap live on Twitch. Because the clip featured the still banned I Show Speed, Kai Sanat actually received a warning from Twitch even though he was reacting to a clip of iShowSpeed, not actually hosting him on the platform. Despite multiple setbacks, iShowSpeed's trajectory shows no sign of slowing. Who can guess what's next for this streamer? Let us know what you think of iShowSpeed in the comments. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the leaderboard for more like this.